Oh no, it looks like my appraised value came in under my contract price on my VA loan. What do I do? This is part two. In part one, we talked about Tidewater, very unique solution with the VA loan to help try to support the value of your home before an appraisal is, a final value is issued. This is part two. We're going to talk about what are your options if the appraisal is issued and it is under the contract price. Re ROV, reconsideration value, is the path that you have. This is where the buyer can directly appeal to the VA to ask them to reconsider the value of the property. What does it look like? Well, the appraisal came in short, meaning it's under the contract price. The buyer, the seller, the listing agent, the buyer agent, whoever wants to could get together. If, they're, if they happen to sell, decide to review the appraisal, great. Or if it's an individual, okay, wonderful. But if they see that there's some disparities that they disagree with on that appraisal, they can issue this ROV. So let's say there's two ways that you can ultimately do this. People look at it and there's two ways to petition the VA. One is by comparables, meaning that you look at the appraisal and recognize, hey, I think they truly missed some comparable sales that they need to add into this. Hey, VA, here are the comparables that we didn't see in there. Please review this and please pick our uh, comparables over the appraiser's comparables. That's one way of petitioning. The second way is disagreeing with the analysis, meaning that, hey, we don't agree with how the appraiser or did this analysis of the comparables. Now, it might not be the appraisal's issue whatsoever. It might be that they like missed something. So in the example that we like to use where we have seen success before is if the appraiser happened to miss, say, a shed or a barn or something on the appraisal, they just missed it. Then you can request the reconsideration of value to the VA. What, that look, what does that look like? put together a little document. Typically it's a couple pages. And in the scenario that we often give, we might have an old appraisal that shows the old buildings or a survey that shows the other buildings on the property. And then we compare that to the current appraiser appraisal that might've missed those properties on it or missed those that barn that shed. Put that together in a nice little report request it to the VA. What that looks like is the buyer sending the lender, hey, I'm requesting a reconsideration of value to X dollar amount, and here's my report. Then the lender will submit that directly to the VA, to the regional loan center, and say, please reconsider the value. And the VA will look it over and decide, hey, yes or no. And don't be surprised if you ultimately get a yes. There's many scenarios where that does happen. Now, people think it might be rare, but it still happens. So that is the next step to escalate a VA appraisal if you happen to actually get the appraisal back and it's short and you want to try to petition in some way. You can petition based on the comparables or the analysis and how it was done. The buyer will ultimately submit that through the lender to the VA, but a lot of folks can help put that report together and the VA will reconsider the value and if they give it a thumbs up, you might have just got a good deal on your home and brought the price right to where it needs to be. Hope this helps you go out and win closing list more deals. I'm Evan Kaufman. Take care. Bye-bye.